Hi everybody, this is Lara at Pure Elliott Wave. I'm going to analyse Filecoin with you today. This was a request from uh, someone who purchased my online course, Learn Pure Elliott Wave. She's asked me to take a look at Filecoin. Um, before I jump into that, I have a quick one question I want to ask you. I'll put a link in the description box down below. I want to know what stage you're in in your Elliott Wave knowledge. Absolute beginner all the way through to professional. One question to answer. Pick whichever one is most appropriate to you, click finish survey and let me know. I want to, I'm asking this question because I want to develop some free resources for people learning Elliott Wave and I want to know what level to best pitch my first resources to. I need to update my free resources page. Let's jump into Filecoin. Oh, just before I go there, just another reminder I have on my website a free technical analysis ebook. If you haven't already grabbed your copy, I'll put a link below to this. Jump into my website, and on this page, you'll see an outline of what's in it. And just give us your email address, and you get a copy of my free ebook. Don't worry, I don't spam you. I've got your email address once you've downloaded the ebook, and I'll only be emailing you if I have something really good to let you know, like I'm putting my online course on special or I'm releasing my next one, that kind of stuff. Because I hate spam. Okay, let's have a look at Filecoin. This is a weekly chart. This first data here looks really thin. Volume was really thin. Probably not enough volume for good looking Elliott Wave structures to, to develop down here. So I think we might not get good looking Elliott Wave counts in here, but I think I can see an expanded flat there. So I think it'll work. I'm going to start with an impulse. I think we've got a five up from there to here and a three down from there to here. And I think I'm going to label this start out with primary degree. That's one of the hardest decisions when you start a new wave count on a new data set is what degree to label it. So this has lasted 83 weeks. So it's lasted one and a half years. Actually, I think that should be cycle degree. I'm going to move that up. To cycle degree, yeah, cycle degree one, so, sorry, cycle wave one, two, three, four, five to go. Yeah, I think that looks about right. And this looks like an impulse. Nope, I'd put this down here. Primary three, many, many, many multiples of primary one. And primary five longer than three as well. I think I can see an expanded flat in here for primary two. Nope, put A down here. Now I'm just checking. Okay, C has not ended be, uh, prior to the end of A. It's ended at exactly the same point. So there's no truncation, so it's not a rear running flat. And I think I'd put B over here, some kind of combination. Uh, no, can't be over there because that's the candlestick after Lara. Nope, we'll leave it over here. Okay, so I'm happy with that for primary one and two. Primary three, let's see if it'll fit as an impulse. Yep, I'll put this down here. I think this is actually going to fit quite nicely. And yeah, I'll put that there. Oh, okay, this is looking pretty good. Except intermediate five doesn't look very good. I think we might have to go to lower time frames to look at that. This is a huge blow off top. Let's just bring in some volume and have a look and see if there was a volume spike on that week. Well, compared to previous data there was, but compared to this, here's the strongest volume. Another even stronger, huge blow off top. Okay. I could check this at lower time frames. I think I'm looking for volume because in, on this because if this is a blow off top, then there could be one, two, and a three and then a quick shallow four and then a final strong fifth wave inside here the fifth wave strength pulling up the little fourth wave that comes just before it making it more brief and shallow that could happen that happens quite a lot with cryptocurrencies and commodities pretty typical in commodities that looks pretty good actually okay just a real quick calculation how deep is two in relation to one a 99.6 correction well if it's not over there it really really should be over really soon it's forming a nice little j curve off the bottom here that looks pretty good let's see if we can fit it as a single or double zigzag 
yeah I think that looks about right Yep, I can see a really nice impulse with an intermediate A. I'm just doing a quick count of that. I can see that visually, but I'll put those labels in so you can see what I'm seeing. Nope. And a really nice impulse in the middle there. That's nice. So A is 197. C is 117. C is actually shorter than A in terms of distance or price travelled and it looks a lot longer because of the scale so they're not actually equal in length but C is extended in terms of time but not price oh, I think that's gonna yeah I don't think there's gonna be any problems in there subdividing that not sure about the final fifth wave though could the fourth wave have been a no mm, no it can't be over here because then it hasn't corrected any of the third, it has to be over here. Maybe the third wave was over here. And then the fourth wave over here. I'm just having a little play with this. No, I'd want to put this over here. Put this back up here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's put a channel around this because this is going to be the bottom line for this market is a channel let's draw it first using Elliot's technique for a correction he said draw the channel from A to B he said put a copy on the end of A that doesn't really look very good so I'm going to redraw this using a best fit and I'm going to be I'm going to draw it as conservatively as I can by which I mean I'm going to draw it so it contains as much movement as I can okay might have a little overshoot there because if I pull this up a edge down it's got so many tests one two three four five six seven maybe a little weak one there eight nine nine tests that's pretty good if this channel is breached by a full daily candlestick of upward movement not touching this trend channel I'd have quite a lot of confidence in Filecoin in its early stages of a strong bullish run I am going to focus my analysis now on the daily chart just in this early movement of the potential next wave up I would label intermediate wave one an incomplete impulse probably let's see how this is subdividing I'd have minor one and two over down here where did you put my minor three motive wave oh yeah up there okay cool let's probably bring this down here I think for now might have to pull that back up out of the way minor three may not be over let's see if this will subdivide as an impulse nope I'm gonna to have to have one and two over probably here no it's not gonna work okay nope that has to go up here and then I can see a third wave in here go away I think this is going to work or is the middle of it going to be too short I know that works nice nice so one two three four overlapping first and second waves uh, break above resistance test of support for the third and fourth wave moving up and away pull back pull back now it needs another fifth wave another fourth wave correction along the way so one more and then up for the final fifth wave to end intermediate wave one and so I expect for Filecoin it probably has got a low in place at this point and the first big impulse up off the low which I'll label intermediate wave one looks incomplete when it is complete I'll expect another deep correction for intermediate two which could be 78 or, or even 90 percent the depth of intermediate wave one so it could be a very deep multi-week correction but not there yet looking for the end of intermediate wave one first when it's over a multi-week pullback for intermediate two may not move beyond the start of one below 2.6785 that's my conclusion for my Elliott wave analysis let's see how much support for that view there is from technical analysis this is the entire price history of Filecoin which I downloaded from Yahoo Finance it's awesome you can download a lot of data from them it's really great thanks Yahoo bouncing up off support back here 
Now, I've drawn the support line from the daily chart across closes and opens back over here in the early stages back in 2020, bouncing up off pretty strong support. So I would expect that's most likely to hold. On the weekly chart, there is, well, this is a morning star, these three candlesticks here. One, two, three. Not a really very strong one, but... The two green candlesticks do have some support from volume, or at least this important one, the third candlestick, definitely does have support from volume. Volume is increasing on this week beyond the previous two weeks. There are a couple of bullish long lower wicks at the low as well. This is a pretty strong bullish candlestick, now showing some good support from volume. We've seen that before though, within a bear market rally for Filecoin, but I think given the depth of this now it's most likely found it's low it's a 99% correction of the previous bull market that's extremely deep on balance volume exhibited no bullish divergence at the last low between price on balance volume has just broken above resistance so that's a bullish signal on this last completed week so last week on balance volume is giving a bullish signal not a very strong one though and again we've seen that happen before you could draw a resistance line over here broken above here and that was just a bear market rally and the bear market continued so on its own this doesn't tell us the bear market is over it's just a little bit of a bullish signal for the short term adx is declining there is no clear trend at this time frame RSI reached oversold on the weekly chart and exhibited bullish divergence with price at this low on a closing basis. That's quite bullish. Has RSI done that before in the price history of Filecoin? Yes, once back down here in its very early days. And lower prices were seen after that, but it found its lows back here and then established a bull run from there. So though I would read this is actually quite bullish, this supports the Elliott Wave count. Money flow index also exhibits bullish divergence after just touching into oversold back here. That also supports the Elliott Wave count. ATR has been declining throughout the bear market. That's really normal to see for cryptocurrencies. And stochastics is neutral. Here is the low on the 16th of December 2022. There is no bullish candlestick reversal pattern off the low. There is a bullish long lower wick here and there's a piercing pattern a few days later but it's not at the low. Uh, it did have push from volume though. So it looks somewhat weak off the low and then sideways movement until there's a break above resistance, a pause and another strong upward movement. And now a little pullback. This looks like a pullback in an ongoing bullish run. There's pretty strong resistance above here, just about uh, $5.10, around about there. So it's coming up ahead, and that could slow down price. It could initiate another pullback before price is able to break through. Volume is supporting the upward movement from price. We've seen that, though, before in these bear market rallies previously, and yet the bear market continued. So again, on its own, this doesn't tell us the bear market has to be over, but there is support from volume for upward movement. On balance, volume is making highs prior to price from this point to this point, corresponding points in price on balance volume is higher than price this is bullish divergence i read on balance volume as a leading indicator where it leads price is likely to follow so there's underlying strength in terms of volume within this upward movement and so that also supports the elliott wave count adx is increasing it's above 40 and just above both dx lines so it's extreme but i think at the daily chart level it's probably able to get very extreme, yeah. And looking at the previous bullish run, how extreme did it get? And back here in the previous strong bullish run, ADX reached above 70 and above both DX lines. So it's only just above 40, so not nearly as extreme as it can get for this market. ADX can have some really extreme readings for these cryptocurrencies. RSI is overbought, so unsurprising, we're getting a little pullback to relieve some extreme conditions. This on its own doesn't mean the bull run has to end here, though. It could, it's, can be an early, early, early warning sign, but I mean, for Bitcoin, if you look at its previous strong bullish runs and how RSI behaves on the daily chart, it can reach quite deeply overbought 
quite early on in a bullish run can reach extremely overbought and exhibit multiple bearish divergence before the bullish run ends and a huge bear market lasting at least six months to a year arrives. So on its own, this may just indicate let's have a little pullback and a pause before the bull run continues. There is an upward trend in place at this time frame. Also money flow just reached into overbought. That can get more extreme as well. Increase from ATR as price moves higher is very good to see. Normally happens with upward movement even during bear market rallies and bullish runs for these markets. So on its own it doesn't tell us the bear market's over. But it does support the view that this upward trend has some strength that is showing an increase in volatility and stochastics is overbought. So there's a reasonable amount of support for this Elliott Wave count and I really like this curved look of this upward movement. Let's just have a look back at previous bear market rallies and they're more choppy and overlapping. They don't have that nice curved look. This has got some sideways movement and a sharp spike. It doesn't have that nice slow start, accelerate through the middle explosion at the end. This has got a little bit of that look and it's not as clear as what we're seeing today though, is it? 